So there's an article of from uh, the Gitpoint Pound from Cassandra Fairbanks, which I think is uh, actually pretty fair. Now Gitpoint Pound again not a perfect uh, outlet, but this uh, the story is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna link it in the description below. Uh, and here uh, it's uh, the title says Lunatic left his toxes a random kick. They're thinking he was in the, in the Covington video family now receiving violent threats. Well, isn't that interesting? So even when they go after uh, the wrong person and people not checking up on them, uh, they they t think it's okay by threatening this person. Uh, the left has been running around with torches and pitchforks, ready to destroy. Uh, a group of Catholic teens for an awkward response to a leftist pro protest uh, and they doxed a random kid in the process. Now his family is re receiving violent threats and he wasn't sure he wasn't even there. Hmm. It's, uh, amazing. So, not not even... They, they screech, oh, someone was staring. Quick, attack him. Oh, uh, d we don't care if it's even the wrong person. Just attack that person. Soon after the incident, people began spreading photos of a team named Michael Hodge, believing that he was Nick Sandman. The team was confronted by the uh, Native American activist. There are hundreds of tweets with his name, photos, and personal information about him and his family. In the rush for blood, the left attacked uh, this random kid or, uh, on Sunday. The teen's older brother, brother Andrew Hodge, took to Twitter to explain what his family has been going through since the mob began uh, attacking them. Yesterday was supposed to be a day of celebration of my middle brother Alex, who got married last night. Instead, my family had to deal with the fallout of my youngest brother Michael Hodge being fa falsely accused for standing and spawning in front of an indigenous man with a drum. The older brother wrote uh, in the uh, in a series of tweets. Um, people uh, then proceeded to spam my family with harassment and threats of, viol of physical violence. We then uh, find uh, that our, out that our parents' address was posted online. If that wasn't enough, our family operated business has been slandered and attacked. He continued. Tolland left strikes yet again. Y d these people destroy lives of people who weren't even involved with it. I can't even imagine what the ki kid uh, who, who was in that so-called confrontation in quotation mark um, is going through uh, with, with threats and harassment if someone who isn't even in that situation is, uh, is, re is receiving this uh, just for looking slightly like that person. Uh, Hodge complained rightly that no one uh, reviews evidence or does do any due dig uh, diligence. Uh, they immediately escalate things to a state of uh, of frenzy over much uh, over much of nothing. The seller scream of for the head of Michael Hodge, knowing that there w will be zero consequences to them if anything ha happens to them. This uh, perfectly encapsulates what is wrong with this entire situation. They uh, they do this because. This is someone who uh, has a different and uh, different po uh, political and religious belief. I, uh, I believe uh, uh, they go to a Catholic church, so I'm inferring that they might be Catholics in faith. And so we they have to attack them by any means necessary and harass them, defame them, threaten them, harass them. Uh, just to silence them for basically spawning that. So y th you have these leftists always complaining, oh, the the right is uh, outraged. Just look at the Gillette uh, commercial. Oh, it's the alt-right. It's, uh, it's the right-wingers. Oh, stop being such snowflakes. Yet a, 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 a few days later, a, there is a kid just standing there, not doing anything, and the, the left is actually trying to th uh, threaten and ruin this kid's life and his family. Isn't that hypocrisy at its finest? Isn't that hypocrisy? He added uh, that his parents, uh, uncles, and aunts received messages calling them pieces of shit and threats warning that they won't be able to protect Ma Michael Hodge forever. Jesus. Hodge explained that his little brother is the best, best kid I know and volunteers for the Special, for the special Olympics. 
And the cyber bullies began posting details about uh, about his dream becoming a chef and found the college that he's hoping to attend. The mob then began urging the school to resent his accepting calling and arrest. This is just holy hell. They're they're trying to destroy this uh, this kid's life. You condemned my parents for being a horrible role models, yet you jumped to the conclusions and were ready to st uh, s string up an innocent dude, Hodge asked. Hodge finished up his statement by urging people to hold themselves to a higher standard and be better. Yeah, and uh, mainstream media has has not apologized. And they haven't even acknowledged this. This is the only article that I've seen actually covering uh, this uh, this kid being basically trying uh, they they basically trying to ruin this guy's life uh, along with the other uh, kid who uh, was who d I actually didn't do anything wrong. It is just amazing that uh, the divide uh, between the regressive left has become so destructive now that they are just attacking people and trying to ruin their lives just for wearing hats and then the the, the comments i've seen on on these articles on on facebook and on twitter they're so disgusting they they haven't even checked up on on the facts uh, as i said in a, in a previous video i've been called a, a nazi or a kkk member just for uh, for posting a video pointing out that uh, one person was wrong and basically oh we should punch people and, and and this this these people should be shot and these people don't get banned from twitter yet you have uh anyone who isn't right of uh, or, or anyone who is right of standing risk of uh, of being banned from platforms like youtube twitter patreon uh facebook uh, etc i, I 1984 was was not a manual on how to uh, form society. It was a warning.